Hey, what's up, guys? Drake Garibay here for GaribayComputer.com. Today, I'm going to be discussing game recording using DX Tori. And I want to go into some of the details on managing the dual audio stream recording that it does, which can be kind of confusing. Nevertheless, it is the more professional way to do your game recording and manage your audio. So if you're brand new to using DX Tori, I recommend you check out Jack Frags' DX Tori tutorial first because he's going to show you how to set it up, how to get it configured, downloading, installing, what codec to use, all the juicy details. Shout out to Jack Frags, definitely check that out if you're brand new to DX Tori. Me, I'm going to be focusing more on the dual audio streams recording that DX Tori does. So once you have it all set up and installed, jump over to the audio tab. You'll see I have two audio streams set up already. On the first audio stream, you want to choose your main output speakers. This is going to be responsible for recording your main gaming audio. So me, I'm using a Logitech headset, so I set it to my Logitech headset speakers. Make sure this is ticked, otherwise it's not going to record any sound at all. Uh, if you want a little bit higher quality, I recommend going with the 192Hz 24-bit mono PCM. Now this is going to take up a little more space on your hard drive, but not too much. It gives you the higher quality audio. I usually use it. So once that is set up, jump over to your second audio stream. Here is where you enable your second audio stream. Make sure this is ticked and you want to set this second audio stream to record your live voiceover. So choose the mic that you're going to be using. In my case, I'm using my Logitech headset mic, so I have it selected here. And again, for the audio codec, I just use PCM and set the bit rate to 24, 192 hertz, mono. Once that's all set up, you're good to go. You're going to get good audio. You're going to get two audio channels recorded simultaneously. By the way, I set this volume up to 100. Now, if you do not like to record live audio voiceovers, then you're going to want to untick this. And it won't record any live voiceover for, from you. It won't record your microphone at all. You'll just get your main audio recorded right here. So that's handy if you don't like doing live voiceovers and you just want the game audio and you're going to record your own voiceover later on in post-production. So with that being said, I want to go over a couple of the complications I was running into while using this audio recording method. One of them is once I did my recording and I had it set up to record dual audio streams and I would play it back using my common VLC media player, you're going to notice that it's only playing back one audio stream, which is the main gaming sound audio stream. So I'm not getting the full preview. I'm not hearing my live voiceover. So I'm, I'm wondering what's going on here. It took me a little while to figure this out, but the issue is that VLC Media Player doesn't play back dual audio streams simultaneously. It only plays back one audio stream at a time. I tried to find a solution for VLC Media Player, couldn't find one. End up having to go with a couple other media players that support playing back dual audio streams simultaneously. And I found two of them. One is Real Player, which I prefer over Windows Media Player. So if we open up the file in Real Player, you will notice that it's playing back the gaming audio and my live voiceover. So it's playing back both audio streams, which is very convenient for previewing. And if you are using Windows Media Player, it also works. Now there was one other issue I ran into with the dual auto stream recording in DX Tori, and that's in my video editor. I use Adobe Premiere Pro so everyone having this problem I'll show you the quick and easy fix for it. Here's my editor. Let's go ahead and load in the file I recorded. Drop it onto a new sequence. And When you play it back, just like the media player it's only playing back one audio stream at a time. So this doesn't work. I'm like, oh, hey, where is my other audio stream? I was going crazy for a little while until I figured out that you have to extract the audio streams and you have to manually drop the second audio stream in to your editor. The way you extract the audio stream is just right click on your video file and you're going to go to extract audio stream. This is going to give you two audio streams. The ST0 is the main gaming audio, as we can preview here. 
Okay, that's just the main gaming audio. And then this ST1 is going to be your live voiceover that you recorded with your microphone. Hey, what's up, guys? Drake Garibay here for GaribayComputer.com. So what you have to do is you take this, after you extract the audio stream, you take this ST1 file and you drag and drop it into your editor. And now when you play it back, Managing the dual audio stream recording that it does. you get both audio streams. So this is actually the professional way because it separates these audio channels here. So let's say I want to make some changes to my voice. I can do that and not affect the overall gaming audio. This audio is untouched and vice versa. If I want to make some changes to the gaming audio and not touch my voiceover while well, I have that ability, rather than if you record it all in one and then you make uh, changes, it's going to make changes to the whole audio file, which is the gaming audio and your voice audio. So it's a lot more professional, flexible way of doing it to record this way. But as you can see, it is a little bit more tedious because let's say I got five video clips here and they're each 30 minutes long and I got to extract the audio stream on all of those. It takes a little bit of time. But again, this is the most efficient way I found it. If you know of a better way, feel free to leave it below in the comments. That's going to wrap up this tech tip of the day. I want to thank you all for watching. Any questions or comments, leave in the comment section below. And stay tuned for the next video.